hello friends uh, this is the sixth tutorial or uh, sixth lesson so here in this uh, tutorial we are going to cover the following topics here and they are nothing but the five steps of data science so what is the first step the first step is asking an interesting question then we go for obtaining the data exploring the data modeling the data and then we go for communicating and visualizing the data so let's start from the first step and the first step is asking an interesting question so the first step is to create a list of important questions it is nothing but a questionnaire so to ask yourself and others for extracting the data so how can we extract the data from the people so it is one of the way is like to create a questionnaire and through the questionnaire and asking interesting questions it is possible to obtain the data from the people it may be from the organizations it may be online offline so that is called the the first step and and that is possible by creating a list of questions so here the questions should be unambiguous questions they should be not doubtable they are uh, straightforward questions and they should be informative more informative to collect more data maybe we have some questions that requires only few data but it should be like informative to collect more data from the people or from the organizations or from anywhere we are collecting the data so this is the first step and the first step is asking an interesting questions for collecting the data so the second thing is okay obtaining the data and for obtaining the data we said we need to have a list of questions so the list of questions are already prepared so through these questions what we are going we are scouring the world for data and for finding the answer for your questions so this is the next step and the second step in data science and the purpose of this is to gather and collect the information from multiple sources so the multiple sources may be any database maybe a flat file or maybe data warehouse or maybe you are online collecting the data or from any other source so that is the important step to get the data and collect the data then we go for the third step so what is the third step the third step C is exploring the data so what do you mean by exploring the data for exploring the data means after collecting the data and answers for all the questions you may try to build the model and get the answer so before we are going to build the model and find the answer for our questions so it is important to explore the data exploring the data means you break down the data into multiple data types that you studied already so we have to identify what are the numbers here, what are the strings, what are the date, what are the ordinal data, maybe like uh, qualitative data, like uh, we have quantitative data. We have to explore them and identify each and every part. So that may help us in later steps for okay, developing or creating the model. So it is important to do this step, exploring to break down the data into different data types what you studied already so here the abilities okay the abilities are here like to or okay recognize the different types of data as i said before so we have to identify what is the string here what is the number whether they are qualitative or quantitative they are like ordinal nominal ratio or they are like uh, maybe any other type what you said it before whether it requires to transfer the data types or not have to like normalize the data maybe the data requires to be transferred from one font to another form the data is unstructured we have to convert it to some type, some type which is called structured data and the, the next thing is improve the quality of data set for modeling this uh, modeling stage so we have to improve the quality of data set maybe we have some 
uh, inconsistent data there or we may have some missing values we have to remove all these things and clean the data and then the data is ready for the modeling stage but let's see basic equations for data exploration what are the basic equations the first question is here is the data organized or not this we have to ask ourselves while exploring the data whether the data is organized or not if the data is organized so processing the data exploring the data and they may be very fast and also it is easy organized means structured data structured data means they are based on primitive data types like integer character boolean like that whether it is in that form or not if it is not in that form so we may need to like convert them to that form for better analyzing so the next thing is what does each row represent so in a data set we have rows and columns so we have to see what each row represents there is it like numbers your text there are some other things so we have to see that what does each column represents whether they are qualitative data quantitative data if they are qualitative data then in qualitative if you remember we had nominal and ordinal whether they are nominal or ordinal if they are quantitative then we have to see whether it is interval or it is ratio these are the things so next we have to see that is there any missing value the missing values are there so we have to identify them and remove them or we have to replace some like proper values there if you are not doing this so that may create many problems while we are modeling the data and also in the calculations they are creating problems for us so the next thing is do we need to perform any transformations on the data we have to check the data while exploring it whether it is required to transform from one one type to another type like from structure to unstructured or maybe we have to transfer the data to some range maybe it has a very large range and we want to okay create a small range we are arranging them between 0 and 1 as you studied before like we are normalizing the data between 0 and 1 or minus 1 and 1 so is it required to do that if it requires so we have to do or uh, follow that step as well so this is the third step of data science okay that is called exploring the data let's see the next step which is called modeling the data so what do you mean by modeling the data before going to modeling the data let's see what is model itself so model is a specification of mathematical relationship between the different variables we have to see different columns are there or we have different values are there we have to identify the relationship between the variables whether the relation is positive negative is there any relationship between the variables or they don't have any relationship so identifying that or finding that it is called model so model is a specification of a mathematical relationship between the variables so what we have to do in order to test the hypothesis and find the relationship between the variables so we use statistics and mathematics to evaluate the model and the and their performances so to check the model and to see whether the model performance is okay right or not we have to apply some hypothesis from statistics and some other calculations in mathematics we have to do there and through these two we can evaluate and see the model performances okay the last step is communicating and visualizing the result so after exploring the data and modeling the data what we are going to do we have to visualize the data visualizing the data means a picture is worth then a thousand words so it means we are converting the data to something which is more meaningful more understandable so for technical people we are not like um, okay representing the data technical people may understand what we have done in the background and what is the relationship there but 
this is something what we are representing for the people who don't know about the data science so it should be some meaningful and it should be more understandable for them it is a general term that describes any effort to help people understand the significance of data by placing it in a visualized context this is important so although it is easy to create visualization visualization is easy like to create and uh, convert the data into different forms like uh, graphs charts like that it is easy but here is something you have to remember it is much harder to produce good ones this is important now let's see these steps what we mentioned here the five steps and see them here practically how we can do them so reading the data for reading the data if you remember we, we have to use a library python library and that is called pandas and we said pandas is a library which is used for importing the data which type of data tabular form data and do some operations on that maybe like slicing it reshaping it like that so there we have while we are reading the data from the pandas the data is called data frame the data is in the form of rows and t columns it is a tabular form data so it is in the form of rows and columns it's the same as spreadsheet but the difference is here it handles larger values it handles larger values so the second thing what we have one is called data frame and another one is called a series series is nothing but a single column if you filter from a data frame that single column is called a series or another in a simple, simple words we can say series is a one dimensional list and data frame is a two dimensional okay tabular form data now let's see let's start with data frame how to read a data frame so for reading the data frame the first step is which is important we have to import the pandas library so here i have used import pandas and then i created a variable an object for that so let me execute this c okay for first time it is taking some time so it is executed there is no problem so we have imported this pandas library now through this pandas library we are reading the file now for reading the file whether the file is in the same directory or it is in some other directory this is a question if it is in the same directory so we are taking here i created a variable here i say data frame this is a data frame object so i say data frame object is equal to pd means this object of the pandas and read a comma separate value so here i have provided only the name of the file or data set why not the full path because this file is in the same folder where this file or python file is created they are both in the same directory so here is a file lesson 6 and here is uh, the data set drinks so that is why if they are both in the same directory no need to provide the full path only provide the name of your data set and the extensions as i have provided here let me execute and see the result okay it is executed there is no problem and we can read the data by running this step. okay see the data is imported from there and listed here now if the data is in some other directory so that is also possible to read the data let me comment this and activate the below one. so here i am not reading the data which is here in the same directory but i am reading the data or the data set from other directories so for that you have to remember you have to copy the full path 
where the file is located. So this is the drinks comma separated value. It is located in this directory. So I have provided the full path. But one thing you have to remember, it is not backslash, it is forward slash. It is not a single forward slash, it is double forward slash. These are the some points you have to remember. Now I'm executing this. See again, it is not giving me any error and it is reading it. Now let me again run it and it is displaying or we can see the, the observations or the data here. Now, while reading the data or displaying the data, there are so many other like, it provides some functions. The Spandas provides some functions to read the data. Whether we are reading the data from the first or from the last. If you want to read the data from the first, so we are using df means the data frame and the function which is called head. This head function is used to, okay, list the first five records. Okay, I say df.head and by executing this, see, we are seeing five observations from the first, not from the last, from the first. By default, it is five, but we can change it. Like here, I don't say like, I don't want like only five records, I want 10 records. So here we can put the numbers like 10. If I say 10, see the number of observations are increased to 10. 0 to 9 is 10. And again, you can put like, we want like 20 or okay, like 15 something. Again, you run and you can get the data like this. Let it be the default one, five records. I want to display only five records. So this is the five records. Now, how many columns are there? So you are familiar with this data set. We said this is data set which is provided by uh, World Health, uh, Health Organizations. So through that it is provided. It is about alcohol. So how many columns are there? Let me see. Okay, column one, column two, column three, column four, five and six columns are there. Okay, six columns. Now the next thing is to identify whether the data is qualitative or quantitative. Let's see friends here. What do you think about the first column, this column, country? Is it qualitative or quantitative? We can easily identify it is qualitative, not quantitative. Okay, it is qualitative. But in qualitative, again, we have two types. If you remember, we had nominal and ordinal. Now you tell me whether it is nominal or ordinal whether the order is important to give to them or not. Like for example, for Afghanistan, we assign number one, for this number two, number three, is it important like that to do? No. So if it is not like that, we can say it is nominal, it is not ordinal. The order is not important here. We think about this column, it is quantitative value. So if it is quantitative value, these are numbers, and we can apply some mathematics here, like we can find the sum, the average, we can divide addition, subtraction, multiplications, and we can find like the mean, median, mode, standard deviations, all those things. But here, if you're doing only one operation we can do, and that is to find the mode, the frequency, how many times this value is repeated, but I'm sure each value is repeated only once. What do you think about the last column? Yeah, this last column is also qu qualitative data. And qualitative here, see, we cannot like, if we assign the number for them, like for Asia 1, for Europe 2, like that, is it important to do that? No. So it is only ordinal, uh, sorry, it is nominal. We cannot tell it is ordinal. So order is not important for them. So it is nominal. And these columns, the four columns, are quantitative data. Okay, let's say sometimes, like, we don't want to read the data from the first. We want to read the data from the last. If you want to read the data from the last, instead of using head here, we are using tail. The same functions they are doing, but this one is reading from the last, and this is reading from the first. By default, the number of records are 5 here and by default, the number of records are 5 here.
here. Let me run it. Yeah. Again, it is five records, but from the last, not from the first. Here also we can change, like for example, if you want to display more than five records, so you can use the numbers here. So, but I'm changing it to 20. So from the last, we are reading 20 records. Okay. Let's see some other properties of data frame. As we say, data frame is a tabular form data. Now let's see here the type of that. And for that we have a predefined function type. And this is df my data frame object. Let's see how it displays. So it says it is a data frame of type pandas. Now let's see the second okay function I'm running here I say okay shape df dot shape and doing that it is displaying for us the number of columns how many columns we have there in that data frame and how many rows are there and this data frame we said six columns are there how many columns are there six columns are there and how many observations we have 192 and by calling this function again here it is listing yeah maybe one is missing there because of it maybe it is null value that is not displaying or sorry it is starting from zero so zero to this number again it is 93 so six columns six columns now let's see the size total number of values in this data frame it is displaying these are the total number of values means this value multiply with this value and it is giving us this value how many dimensions are there whether it is one dimensional or two dimensional we already said df or data frame is a two dimensional tabular form data and for checking that whether it is one dimensional or two dimensional use this function and see it is saying as it is a 2d not a 1d now we see the axis list the row labels and column names and for that you do this it is showing us all the column names in here one thing it is telling us the numbers are started from the number of columns it is started from zero and stopping value is this one and the steps or number of steps are one it means zero one two three like that is it is increasing so these are the name of columns and type of that is called the object so if we see only the name of columns we want to see okay you can call this one df dot columns and it is displaying us all the columns here and now let's see the next one is okay we want to see the data types of each columns here the data types of each column and for that we see we say okay data frame the whole data frame with six columns and you display the the data type for each column here yeah for that if you do so country is an object beer servings is integer this one is also integer and this one is float value and the last one is also an object now if you want to do some st basic statistics on whole data frame so we are using describe function this function I have already used and let me run it here here, here the first thing it is counting the number of records there for us it finds the mean the standard deviation the minimum 20% of the data 50% of the data and 25% in the last value it is showing us the maximum one thing you have to remember these things are applied all on numeric values so how many columns are included four columns not the first and last because the first and last if you remember they are qualitative data and these functions are only for quantitative data okay manually also you can apply like if you want only find the standard deviation not maximum not minimum not 25 percent only standard deviation i want so for that you just call this function std 
and it shows you only the standard deviation for four columns or for example if you want to see only the median so this is the median if you want to see only the mode so this is the mode some null values are there so if you want to see only the mean so this is the mean we are going to talk about these functions later by details just here it is to see how we can execute or use them with data frame now let's see the second thing what we have here for reading it is called series and i told you the difference between series in a data frame is series is a single column in a data frame this is my data frame if i consider only a single column this one so this is called a series okay let's see okay in that series i want to read only the continent the last column okay i said you go to df means data frame and from data frame you take only this column and you store it in this variable s or mean series and i want to see the type let me see how it displays here yeah this time it says it is not a data frame it is a series of pandas now let's see some properties as we applied on data frame here is it possible to do th those functions or not yes here also you can use like you can find the shape you can find the size dimension axis and you can check the data type let me run them because i have already typed them in a single scene for saving the time okay let's see here yeah type it is saying it is series shape it is says it is only one dimensional array see the second dimension is not there okay if you see the size okay only the size because these values into one by default it is one column one into this value is the same this value how many dimensions it is one but before if you remember there was two here it says it is only one dimensional and here axis it is saying yeah starting from zero step is one and number of columns 193 so what is the type it is an object the same function what i applied here describe on a data frame here i am applying this describe on a series let's see how it displays the result for us for instance it is continent is a qualitative value we said we can find only like the number of frequencies okay how many unique values are there how many times how many records or observations are there the frequency the top one is africa and number of frequencies here it is showing us this one since it is qualitative if it is quantitative then it could show us this one also here like uh, the minimum the medium these things all also will be displayed let me copy this one and put it there and see these values also because we say it is this one continent is qualitative it is displaying as this much let me run it this time but here it is counting it finds the mean the median uh, sorry the standard deviation minimum maximum all these things since it is the first one continent is a qualitative value we said we can find only few things about because we cannot do some calculations on those type of data and the last one here let's see yeah i have already taken here okay here i'm going to do describe it is showing us here the same thing we can apply yeah one point you have to remember here you can put it in the form of like a string or you can directly use the name of your column as well like this these two are the same whether you are using that that way of writing or this way of writing they are both the same and here also instead of this one describe to display all these functions result you can use manually as well like you want to display only the mean yeah the mean is this one you want to see only the median so you can see the median you can find the mode you can find the standard deviation you can find the maximum value in this qualitative uh, sorry quantitative uh, series or we want to see the sum of all values so the sum of all values or these things 
so these were the topics and how to read and we differentiated between data frame and series and we applied some functions on data, uh, data frame and on series and we covered these questions what we said. I hope you understood this much.